All right, today we are going to be playing around with this sensor right here. And this is the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. It has a capacitive uh, humidity sensor inside of it and a temperature sensor. There's also a small IC inside the package that uh, helps us to output a signal. The chip has four pins, uh, VCC, ground, null, and signal. But on this little board we have it mounted to here, we skipped that null pin. We don't really need it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up with our Arduino. I'm just going to plug it in here. I'll put it right here on 40. Now our signal pin, I'm going to be sending to uh, digital 2. You can make it whatever number you want. Next is the plus 5 volts to our plus 5 volt rail and ground to the ground rail. And that is it for our hookup. Next, let's talk about the software. All right, here's the software. And this is what we're using is just a example from the Adafruit uh, DHT library that I had made one small modification to. Now, in order to use this, you're gonna need to make sure you download the DHT library and this Adafruit uh, sensor library. You're going to need to have both of them. If you don't, it's not going to compile. If you don't know how to get the libraries, you can come up to Sketch, Include Libraries, Manage Libraries. This will bring up the Library Manager. Simply type the name in here and it'll download it for you. Now here's where we put our pin, the signal pin from the sensor on pin 2. Again you can change that to whatever you want. We are using the DHT11 sensor so you want to make sure that you uncomment which means remove those two little hash marks from the beginning of the line in front of the DHT11. Okay. Then down here, it's going to gather some data from the sensor. And that's what's really nice about this library. Um, you can use this in your own code for anything you want. But you see we have sensor name, sensor version, uh, max value, min value, resolution. You can query the sensor if you're not sure of these values to find out what they are and use them in your own program. Now here we have a uh, small delay and that is just to slow things down so that we get stable readings, okay? If there's a problem, then it's going to print out the error reading temperature and error reading humidity. Otherwise, we're going to go right here and we're going to get our temperature reading. Now here's where I made the change. This thing wants to print out in Celsius. I'm a red, white, and blue American boy. I don't think in Celsius. I think in Fahrenheit. So to convert it, you take event temperature, you multiply it by 1.8, and you add 32. That's the formula. And that gives us our temperature, which we have made an integer value. And put it right there. 
it's going to print it out and down here we're going to get the humidity so let's uh, upload the sketch to the Arduino and check it out all right the sketch is uploaded we're going to open the serial monitor and you're going to see it's going to print out those details and then we're going to start getting our data sixty eight degrees fahrenheit forty two percent humidity and that's how easy it is to set up one of these types of sensors now in the next part we're going to output this to an OLED display attached to our breadboard and Arduino so that we actually have something portable that can be used. If you like the video, how about giving us a thumbs up? And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Thanks for watching.